Hi, Dave here. Um, what we're doing today is showing you the difference between a regular connect and a high hook uh, by gauging the distance or the gap between the trailer apron and the fifth wheel at a good hook and at a high hook to show you the difference. Things that I do to ensure a good safe hook is I always stop before I get completely under the trailer. If I do not feel the trailer apron catch the, the fifth wheel, I will stop and get out and look to gauge the height of the dolly legs to make sure I either raise or lower them, whichever the case calls for, so that it hits the fifth wheel at the right spot so that you do not have a high hook. Um, if I feel the apron and the fifth wheel connect and pick up the apron, then I know it's not going to be a high hook. I'll proceed back and I'm listening for a specific clank, which is the jaws going around the kingpin. It makes a, it makes a clank sound and it's very specific and you hear it and you can just tell that the jaws went around, but not always. In some cases, if the if there's a gap between the apron and the fifth wheel, as we can show you in the video, sometimes the jaws will still c c catch, but they will not be correct. In this first part, we're going to show you what it looks like to hook up correctly. As you can see, we look under here, we've got no gap between the trailer apron and the fifth wheel, so the trailer is set at the perfect height to connect or disconnect. So now we're just going to go through and check, make sure it locked in good. Pull on the handle, press and really click. That tells me it's locked in good, but we're also going to go underneath and visually check. And when I'm under here, I'm looking to see that the jaws are completely across the kingpin and the handle's completely inserted into the side of the fifth wheel. Both are in the correct position, so we are locked. That's a good hook. In this second part, we're going to show you what a high hook looks like by doing it incorrectly so we can show you the difference. inch gap between the trailer apron and the fifth wheel so the jaws in this scenario the jaws will not grab uh, if that was a little bit lower these jaws could actually grab around the underside of that kingpin but won't actually completely lock then what will happen is the kingpin will actually balance on top of the fifth wheel in a little groove and you'll drive off thinking you've got a good hook only to get up 20 30 miles up the road and lose the trailer so to keep this from happening when you back up to a trailer you always want to get out and look and if there's a gap even a slightest gap you want to lower your legs and take the gap out We'll do that here in just a second. Ah, you grab it. Now see, if you 
look. We got about a quarter inch gap where you can see daylight between the trailer apron and the top of the kingpin. But it grabbed. So if you come back here and look, over here, it's gonna look as if everything's good. If you never physically actually bother to get under and look to make sure there's no gap, you would think you've got a good hook. But in reality, the jaws are not around the base of the kingpin or the shaft of the kingpin. They're actually around the thicker part of the base, which is a lot wider, and it's not really connected. Okay, for all intents and purposes, you check your check your handle. It's got that nice little plank to it. It actually sounds like it's connected and real good. But as you can see, you've got that gap, about a quarter inch gap across the top of that. So it's not really connected. It's connected around the base of the kingpin instead of the shaft. Therefore, the pin is not all the way closed. That's a high hook. Now, in the many years I've been driving, I've had several instances where I've had high hooks um, and I've had problems or I did not hear the, the jaws go around the kingpin right or if at any point when I'm dropping or hooking up to a trailer if something doesn't feel right, sound right or look right I always get out, stop, look, double, sometimes triple check everything even if I'm already completely hooked up and doing my tug tests I still double and triple check the legs the handle the apron the fifth wheel the air hoses and the electric hose before I get back into the truck even though I just got done looking at them I still do that if at any point I'm not happy or don't feel comfortable I completely disconnect, redrop the trailer, pull away from it, and I will do the process all over again from the start. Also, another thing, um, at the highest point of when there may possibly be a problem is if in the process of hooking or uh, dropping a trailer or hooking up to a trailer, if in any way you are interrupted during the procedure of doing it, um, and you walk away from the trailer, look away from the trailer, or do something else, and then go back to it, there's a very high possibility that you could miss a step, forget to double check, forget to hook something up or disconnect something, and that's when problems happen. If at any point you are disrupted in the process of dropping or hooking a trailer, always start over from the very beginning and walk your way through it step by step.